you know, and that may upset some folks, but I don't care. Based off what I've seen from her so far, she deserves that. Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here, and welcome to another reaction video. This one is another long-awaited one. I've been getting a lot of requests for it, so uh, it is finally here. It is Aurora Murder Song 54321. Her... Uh, this was done at the 2015 Nobel Peace Prize concert, and this was the very specific one that was really requested a lot. So I'm not going to waste too much time for it. I'm going to leave the original. I'm going to leave a link to the original video down in the description below and in this info card over here if you want to make sure you check that out. And uh, we're just going to get right into it. Like I said, I've gotten a lot of requests for this. I'm sure you all don't want to hear me talk too much. Let's just get right into it. Let's see what... Uh, she brings for us this time. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think I was a little, uh, take it off. Nice acoustic sound right here, I like it. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. He the God against my head. Oh. I close my eyes and back. I am dead. I know he knows. my body in his arms he didn't mean to do no harm and he holds me tight oh he did all to spare me from the awful things in life that comes and he cries and cries I know he knows All right, I need to take a quick minute to um, recover from how this started. Holy crap. Um, not what I expected at all. Wow. Um, so first thing, I'm already gripped by just the simplicity of it. Just her, another vocalist, and the guitar, and that's all it is. Her ability to uh, not even just storytelling, but at the emotion that she is able to convey is freaking unbelievable. And not only that, it's there's something hypnotic about it. I mean, I'm looking at this, I'm almost halfway done with the video already. And it's like, I think the only comments I made was like at the very beginning and up to when I paused it. It's like, it almost seems impossible to do anything to really speak over her when she's singing. I, it just, I just wish I knew what it was. It's just something so hypnotic, but it's like, it's like once she starts, it's like you just have to listen. Because it's like, there's clearly a story here. I don't know if there's a story behind the song. It very well just could be something that she wrote and maybe has no personal meaning to her. I don't know. Um, you know, I know certain people probably like to do their research before this, but I'm the type where it's like, I like going into these reactions blind, not knowing what I'm getting into and letting you guys educate me. You know, you are the guys that introduced me to Aurora. You know her best. 
and I feel it's just better to learn from you guys. So if there is any story behind this song, um, personal to her, um, definitely please, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, other than that, uh, it's another spectacular song so far, but let's go ahead and continue. She's got some power in that voice, too. Alright, I gotta comment on that, because almost right on cue, when I was commenting about how much power she had in her voice, it's like with a snap of a finger... It went from like straight power to straight vulnerability. It's like, good lord, there are very few vocalists that I know that have that type of ability. Off the top of my head, Freddie Mercury is probably one of those people. Um, but good lord, she's putting herself on that level. You know, and that may upset some folks, but I don't care. Based off what I've seen from her so far, she deserves that type of recognition i would dare say when it comes to vocal ability control you know emotion all that she is darn near freddie mercury level if not matched like i said there's very few people i know who can do that as well as she is freddie mercury is one of them and i'm sure if i really tried thinking about it, i could think of a couple but right now there's not too many And look at her expression. I mean, let me just go back just a little bit. And it's like, I'm on try to get to a very specific spot. Five, four, three. Okay, maybe it was back a little further. Maybe right here. Here we go. Yeah, right there. It's like the wide-eyedness. And then it's almost like... It's almost like you can hear, it's like, like I get this sense of fear and unknowing and her eyes by themselves are doing that. But then you see like her hands fidgeting. You can see the expression on her face when she moves away from the mic a little bit. And you can almost hear the trembling in her voice, you know, as she's saying five, four, three, two, one. It's like, she knows what's coming up, She, but you know, she's a, you know, it's like, and I'm sure there's so many freaking questions. If someone's holding a gun to your head, you, how many questions are going through your head right there? What are you thinking about? It's like all that confusion, all that fear, everything that you're feeling in that moment. And I think she's hitting that beautifully. It's like you just get such a sense of uneasiness with that. The gun is gone, and so am I, and here I go. Yo. Yo. Yo, that one was deep. That one was deep. Um... I can't really say I went in with any expectation because every Aurora song I've heard so far, there has been some sort of different feel to it. So this is my fifth Aurora song, I believe. I think this is my 
fourth aurora or wait a minute hold on one two three no this is my fourth aurora video but technically my fifth song because the last aurora one i did was um it was two songs in the one video um so it's like five aurora songs and they each felt like they had their own distinctive sound and it's like i've just given up on trying to have any expectations on what to in terms of what to expect with the song outside of that i'm probably going to enjoy it um this one was probably like in terms of depth this was probably i don't know if any of her other songs i've heard so far you know felt any deeper than this outside of maybe it happened quiet but uh this one definitely takes the cake in terms of depth i think but um yeah as i asked before if there is any sort of personal meaning behind this song please leave a comment and let me know because with is i mean with the tone the message in that song it's just like I feel like there had to have been some personal connection. If not, she's just that freaking talented. But, um, yeah, I mean, beautiful song, very beautiful song. And I loved how simple it was. You know, sometimes those are the best ones, just those simple acoustic numbers where it's just literally just a guitar, you know, maybe a couple people doing vocals and that's it. It's like, you know, those, those are some of the most beautiful songs. I mean, Heck, I mean, you look at one of the Beatles' most successful songs yesterday. It was just Paul McCartney strumming on his guitar. Granted, yeah, he did have some strings behind him, but, you know, it's not like you need those. You could do those without, but, um, yeah, so wonderful song, beautiful song. I can't say enough good about it, and I'm not going to try. Um, hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Um, stick around to the end of the video. You can subscribe to the channel from there. You can also um, hit up the playlist and check out some of my more reactions to other um, music videos and performances. And uh, as I said before, just leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any good info on the song, definitely let me know. And I'll catch you all down the road.